Hi guys, how you doing? Hi Scott. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. Lovely to talk to you both about this fantastic show. I've only watched episode one because after watching episode one, I had to put my laptop down because I was kind of like freaked out a little bit by what. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd wait, watch episode two, and then get to the other two. Uh, so congrats on it so far. It's a it's a wonderful uh, show, really thrilling, really challenging. I can imagine for you guys as well. Jessica, maybe I'll come to you first. What was the lure of 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 this? Had you read the book before? Was it the scripts that, that lured you in or was it a combination of, of both? So when I first um, auditioned for this, I had only read four scenes and I was completely sucked in by just those four scenes. It wasn't until my recall when I was sent um, a couple of the drafts of the scripts. Um, and I mean, I, I, yeah, I just read them one after the other with my jaw on the floor the whole time. Um, I haven't read the book. I bought the book. I thought about reading the book, but then decided that I wanted to save it as a treat for after and to just keep the version of my Emma in my head completely separate from the Emma in the book. And um, I originally thought that I'd read it after we finished filming, but I just, yeah, I, I haven't. I don't know. I find, I'm, I've still not let go. I think once it's out, and I've watched it maybe 10 times, then I can go on and read the book. <laughs> was that the, was it the same for you, Ben? Have you read the book or was it the, was it the script? Did you only get a couple of I scenes got, as well? I got, uh, I got a couple of episodes of the script um, going into the audition, but I felt like I just needed to know what happened. So I ended up doing a little Wikipedia search, sadly, <laughs> and, uh, and saw the whole plot. But then I did read the book afterwards. Um, just to kind of see what I was uh, really getting in for. And um, yeah, I mean, the book, have you re managed to read the book, Scott? I haven't, no, no, I'm going into this completely blind, but I'm kind of the uh, same in that I want to maybe read it afterwards. Oh mm, mm, uh, yeah, definitely now, I think maybe, yeah, now it's worth waiting, but yeah, it's a real page turner. He's very talented, JP Delaney, yeah. Um, and it was great to have him on this show as well. You know, he was there most of the days really, you know, and was very, you know, he. Uh, wrote the script um yeah it was uh yeah it's great to have him around i wanted to ask it sounds like such a silly question but is that house real or is that a set because i feel like if it's a set that's beautifully constructed if it's a house my goodness me someone's someone's <laughs> <laughs> time to yeah, do who owns it? Who owns it? Yeah, yeah. is it real um, is it a real place or is it a set it's, a well, set. It, it's real it's real in the sense that it is like built. there's two floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it was built in a warehouse and it was really cold. <laughs> did that? Yeah. Did that? Does that hob work? That's is that a trick? Is that hob a trick? Because I thought oh, that that's, was that's that's funny you ask that because that took far too long to do that shot turn, of turning that hob on. Are you refer? I don't know. If you, is there a, yeah, there's a bit where I'm like waving the hand over. wave over the top. Yeah, yeah, and like someone was operating it at the same time and the time <laughs> kept going wrong, and I was just like, you just turn it on like this. Like ten seconds later, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that took far too long, and we're already rushing to like make the day. Uh, yeah, so um, no, it doesn't work. Is is uh, is the answer? Oh, no. um, but uh, yeah, the illusion of a uh, of film. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that into the into the box of when Batman takes his cowl off and the eye makeup has just disappeared. We'll put that in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never even thought about that. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in terms of the relationship between Emma and Simon, obviously there's, I don't want to give too much away for people that watch this, but there's obviously a lot going on. There's a lot that's gone on. Um, but maybe tell me a little bit about reading the relationship for the first time and what you thought you could bring to it. Maybe Ben, I'll, I'll start with you. And what was it about Simon? Because obviously, as I say, there's a lot going on that you discover as, as the show goes on. Yeah, I, I was drawn to it and I was drawn to their relationship. I think it's, there's, um, I think it's quite tragic, really. Um, Simon's story and I think it's something that we can all relate to but maybe he's living living it out on the nth degree he's um absolutely infatuated with Emma thinks that she's the love of his life and will do absolutely anything to make it work with her I mean that's why he moves into the house he doesn't want to live there he just wants her to be happy he wants to make her happy and if he can make her happy then he'll be able to keep her you know it's kind of this theme of control that kind of runs through the story as well um and he sacrifices a lot of himself in the process of trying to um, trying to keep their relationship. Uh, it's definitely a troubled relationship. And also it ties in with 
he's obsessed with being the man. It's this kind of like very, you know, toxic, um, toxic masculinity um, theme. You know, he's always seems to have been that way. And a lot of like his soul, who we see in the first episode, he's very kind of macho and alpha male. Edward um, is definitely the alpha male, as we see in that um, in that first episode in the scene together where he cuts him down and, and says to him, you look like a prick, you know, don't do that, you look like a prick. And that's like the kind of moment where Simon's just, Simon goes away and thinks about all the things he could have said and would have said, and then it's like, why didn't I say it? And then beats himself up because he's been, he's been dominated by another man. He has this preoccupation. And I think he feels like if he's more of a man, he'll be able to keep, um, keep Emma. Uh, yeah, and I feel like I'm rambling on, so I'm just going to stop talking and, and let Jessica take over. <laughs> I think um, Emma can sense that in Simon. I think she would, yeah, just like much prefer him just not be like that. I think, yeah, we, we find them at a point where Emma wants to try and make it work. She doesn't want to break up with him but finds it really difficult in the relationship and I think um being with Simon is 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 almost like she's she carries the trauma that she's experienced with her because of their continued relationship and almost feels like by by cutting him off is almost like, yeah, cutting the trauma off so she can have a fresh start and, and not need to worry about things that had happened in the past and explaining things to even herself and admitting it to herself, let alone, you know, her partner. Yeah, and a testament to, to the book and to the, to the scripts that not only have you got the, the director of Killing Eve as part of the process, but you have on you know, the other side of the page, as it were, Gugu and David Oyelowo, who are both just extraordinary in anything that they do. They could read the phone book and it would be amazing. Um, <laughs> what's it What's it like when, like Ben, you just mentioned there about the scene with David, which, which, you, which you spoke about. Does that help you raise your game when you're in the room with somebody like him in terms of that, even though he's cutting you down as a character, that you're, you can feed off of what he's given you because he's just so talented and has, has played so many amazing, amazing roles in his career so far? I was definitely thrilled uh, when I found out that David was was playing Edward. I I am a fan of his work, and he and that scene you're referring to as well. You know, he carries this 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 gravitas. You know, this he's very um, powerful in his performances. So it definitely it helps working with talented people always. You know, but in that scene as well, I felt intimidated. I felt like I was going to war. You know, like I felt you know, and that and that was exactly what the scene needed. Um, yeah, he's very talented. And Gugu as well is also, you know, incredibly talented. And so is Jess. So, you know, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it was a very talented cast uh, across the board. So I felt very thankful to be working with such talented people. Yeah. Is that the same for you, Jessica, that you get to just just being in a room with those people kind of elevates your game and wants you to, you know, you want to raise your game as well? Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, you want your performance to be good, but also you want to be able to give what you can so that, they also can give their best performance so that as a whole, it's just amazing. I think I learned probably more in the three months that we shot in Bristol than I have yet, ever, maybe, from these guys. Yeah. Just, I just, I, just, I did want to ask you uh, a serious journalistic question about your acting techniques. Um, where did you go to school to learn how to do the diagrams on the flip chart? Do you, do you have to go to <laughs> drama class for that quite a, quite a skill <laughs> if we had to do diagrams on the flip chart I would have quit um I left school at 16 and I joined um identity drama school um which I attended um um doing evening classes and um was quite lucky to sign with their agency and have been with them I mean, I've, I've, my acting career has been on and off with other industries, but have been with them for 10, 11 years. 
That's good. But you didn't you didn't do that. I've just I've just picturing you doing the pie charts in a in a class in a drama class somewhere. Can you picture that? I can't picture that. No, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, you, you could you could teach that and Ben could teach the how to light a hob <laughs> yeah. uh, Tom Hiddleston's and the like <laughs> uh, guys absolutely love to talk to you thank you so much for your time ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, yeah. is that from the Goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.